Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class. That is English for grade two. We are learning unit nine. Its title is Here is the Winter. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, and worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is, or modify it for your convenience. Yes, my dear students, today under the title of writing skill, we are going to learn about Rebus story. Before this, in your unit 8, you have already learned how to use textbook pictures to aid comprehension. Remember, we have learned by looking at the picture, we can guess the text and we can understand the story better. So this skill is going to help us to learn further to use pictures or ribbons in the text to increase understanding, replace ribbons with words to complete a given story. These are our today's essays. Let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions in Quran, Surah al zuriyat verse 55, and remind, for indeed, the reminder benefits the believers. Yes, my dear students, what this beautiful verse is telling us. But this is a very effective short message. Remind. Because sometimes we forget the things. That's why when we revise and do it again and again, it helps us. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching to our beloved Prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that tell to the people again and again because if first time they don't understand maybe second time third time so keep telling them this is a key for us for learning like we should once if even if we are clear we should do it again and again and again it's a reminder so that we should remember all the things and this is a message for us to remember unless all the time it's, it's a reminder for us, like we should not forget that Allah is watching us, Allah is listening us all the time, right? Okay, so though we have learned how to use pictures, we are going to learn further before starting. Tell me, what is a Rebbe story? You have studied in grade one, so tell to your teacher. And also, on page number 76 of your book, look at the pictures and tell names of the things which you can. Okay, so pause the video, answer these questions to your teacher and then come back. Yes, my dear student. So what is a rebel story? Such type of story is a rebel story. Where instead of words, pictures are given. Okay, so this is how we define it. A rebel story is a very short story that uses words and pictures that stand for words okay and how do we read it look at this okay let's our ribbon story is a short story or puzzle that uses pictures or symbols in place of words to help the reader to comprehend the story you see how do we how do we read it now Two words are written and after that there is a picture. Still we can read it how? Baba, black sheep. So this big picture is black sheep. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. You see, this is how bitter we look at the picture. We say the word for that and we read it. It's very interesting. Like we keep looking at the picture. We keep saying the words. And we complete it. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags, <laughs> right? Likewise, you'll keep looking at the pictures, replacing that picture with word. You complete the story, and this is called such type of story is known as rib story. Okay. So now all of you open book page number seventy six, and you have told like. There are um, word bank given, so you can select like this picture stands for what? 
grandmother okay so word bank is given grandma and what is this it's purse she is a girl this is how better this word bank can help you to replace the pictures with words so this is what we are going to do now so look at the word bank and complete the text but before that let's do an activity teacher will show students a story with blanks and pictures ask them to fill the blanks and complete story with the appropriate words okay teacher here i brought an example for you you may take the same or you may take another for students to practice with this part so uh, pause the video let's enjoy this activity and then come back yes my dear children are you done with it good job it was easy fatima went on a picnic with her family right she made sandwich to eat this is how we look at the picture and we say a word right now let's complete this page all of you now look at the picture you can take help from the word bank and complete this rubis in your box so pause the video complete this task and then come back yes my dear students are you done with it good job it was interesting nice so it's time for your homework you will practice another rubis story at home and here is a worksheet my dear fellow teachers this worksheet lesson plan powerpoint presentation links are given you may click it, download it, and kindly provide a printed worksheet to students for practice. So what we have learned today, we learned to identify symbols or pictures for writing a ribbon story. And we achieved our SLOs to use pictures or ribbons in the text to increase understanding and replace ribbons with words to complete a given story. Are we done with it? Yes, so that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning, keep practicing, take very good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.